card number 20 look at this guy albert hakeem with his love on tattoo for ollie look at that on his little belly button albert hakeem look at him look at this guy such an innocent looking face Ollie tattoo. Isn't that cute? Who is he? Card number 20. Arms Merchant Albert Hakim. In 1978, Iranian expatriate businessman Albert Hakim obtained contracts from Bakhtel Corporation, a large defense contractor then headed by George Soltz and Caspar Weinberger, see card number six. The same year, Theodore Shackley, see card number 24, introduced Hakim to Richard Secord, see card number 19, in Iran. Secord was then in charge of U.S. arms sales to the Shah, and Hakim had contacts in the Iranian military and in the Shah's secret police, Savak. The huge des desperate uh, disparity between what the Pentagon charged and what the Iranians were willing to pay enabled Hakim and allegedly Secord to make fortunes by skimming profits off these arms sales. After Secord resigned from the military, Hakim became his partner. He was the financial wizard behind the enterprise, a non-governmental profit-making operation which aided the Reagan administration's covert foreign policies. The tangled web of shell companies and offshore bank accounts that Hakim created and controlled for the enterprise was designed, uh, designed as Secord admitted, to confuse anyone who might start poking around. For instance, when congressional investigators poked into the BB for belly button account, Hakim explained that he had set up his $200,000 trust for Oliver North's family out of respect to North, whose uh, radiation of patriotic love immediately penetrated to, his, to my system. This is... Uh, inconsistent with Hakim's admission that he was only in it for the money. In 1988, Albert Hakim was indicted, indicted, indicted uh, for defrauding the U.S. government. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this face. Would you like sit down and have tea and apple pie with this 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 dude so innocent looking <laughs>